Hi guys, welcome back. If you might remember, oh, three or four weeks ago I put out a video showing my latest antennas that I have on my two base stations. Well, I have been doing comparison, comparing the two antennas non-stop for the past three or four weeks. I set up in my garage on that antenna, I set up my unit in Washington. And in here, I had my realistic TRC-451 set up. The two radios are very similar, uh, receive is about the same on them, and signal strength on their meters is also about the same. So I use those two radios to connect to the stations for doing all of this comparison. Last weekend, my wife and I had to go to the Florence Flea Market. We didn't have to, we wanted to. We went to the Florence Flea Market in South Carolina. That flea market is 44 miles away in a straight line from here. So I decided to set up the cameras, put a camera on the realistic setup here and a camera on the Washington in my garage. And when I get on the interstate, when I reach exit number 120 on Route 20, that exit is 14 miles away from my house in a straight line. And then for every mile that I continue on the highway, it stays going in a straight line away from my house. So for every mile I travel on the highway, it's another mile added on to the distance that I'm getting. Because again, it's a straight line. So I called out at all the mile markers, all the exits, and get the recordings on these two radios. So we have a, a local comparison. Let me take you outside and show you the, the two different antennas and I'll show you the setup that I'm using in my car to transmit. All right, in the garage, the uh, unit in Washington is running off of this antenna. That is a 30 year old Radio Shack half wave antenna and I have a homemade ground plane on it. There's uh, four 103 inch long wires, 12 gauge wires, attached directly to the base of the antenna. And I'm going to have my realistic TRC-451 connected to this antenna. This is on my house. This is a homemade quarter wave ground plane. And we probably can't see those ground radials very good. Let me see if this thing will zoom in for us. There they are. Alright, that's the antenna that's on my house. It's a quarter wave ground plane. The radio that I'm transmitting from is in my car and it is hooked up to a 102 inch whip up on the roof and now let's go in the car and I'll show you the setup that's in there. Okay, well, I'm going to be using my old Uniden Grant. The Grant is connected to a, a Radio Shack amplified microphone and the radio is connected to a little helper up here. It's a, a Shooting Star 225. So we have the 225 on the Grant with a realistic power mic and all heading out through the 102 inch whip. Okay, well after seeing the mobile setup you can see why I'm starting this test from 14 miles away. The uh, first recording we're going to listen to is at that mile marker, uh, 120, which is 14 miles away from me. So let's take a listen to that now. First I will show you the, the Washington, how the Washington in my garage hooked up to the half wave ground plane, how it heard me from 14 miles away. After that, we'll listen to the realistic and how that one heard me on the quarter wave ground plane from 14 miles away. All right, let's have a listen to those two clips. CQ, CQ, 151, South Carolina, on Route 20, at exit 116, Route 15, in Bishopville, 151, South Carolina. Carolina. 
So at 14 miles, there wasn't much difference between the two antennas. So let's jump way ahead and let's go up to 22 miles away. And let's hear how they sound and how the difference was at 22 miles away. CQ 151 South Carolina in the mobile on Route 20 eastbound, right between the rest areas, the truckers rest areas. 151 South Carolina in the mobile on Route 20 eastbound, right between the rest areas, the truckers rest areas. 151 South Carolina, stand by. So now we're starting to see a difference. At 22 miles away, yeah, 22 miles away, there was quite a difference in signal strength on the two radios. The half wave ground plane was still hearing my car very well, uh, but the quarter wave ground plane set up here in the house was starting to get weak. Uh, if you notice, the signal strength was only going to one to two S units from the quarter wave, and the half wave still had four to five. Let's jump ahead a little bit more. This time we're going to do a smaller jump. We're going to go to 25 miles out, and this time Mrs. Mower Junkie had the mic. All right, let's give a listen and hear how the two radios heard my mobile from 25 miles away. CQ, CQ, this is 268 calling out. In the mobile, that's a 131, Tim and Zoe Darlington. 268, stand by. Alright, the quarter wave is really starting to drop off now. We're at 25 miles away, and the, <laughs> the quarter wave ground plane is barely getting any signal strength. We still have good audio, but the signal strength is getting very low. The half wave ground plane is still hearing the mobile pretty good from 25 miles away. Uh, let's see if we can go a little bit further. Let's see what the the next jump I can get to that will almost take out the quarter wave. And we'll compare the furthest distance of the quarter wave to what the half wave sounds at that same distance. Because we already know which antenna is going to win. We have enough proof already. Alright, let's get to the last clip in the local range testing. And let's see just how far away the quarter wave actually went. Okay, so it was clear to see who was the, who was the winner. The uh, the half wave ground plane uh, did win, not by a whole lot though. Did you notice at that 35 mile mark, the half wave ground plane was showing about half an S unit of signal, and the quarter wave ground plane on the realistic was uh, once in a while <laughs> make the needle move, uh, but you could hear every word. And understand, I know it was quiet. Uh, it would have been better if somebody had been here to turn the volume up a little on the radio. But you could hear clearly every word I said at 35 miles away. I could still hear the car radio on the quarter wave antenna up to around 40 miles away. But I couldn't make out every word. Uh, it was like every other word or every third word was just illegible. Uh, so reliable communication... From 35 miles away, I can talk back to my base station with the quarter wave antenna. 
The half wave antenna, uh, like I said earlier in the video, the flea market we went to was 44 miles away from a straight line. And that station actually heard my car radio. It heard it about the same as the quarter wave heard, the, heard it at 35 miles away. At 44 miles away, you could still pick out, uh, I'm sorry, at 44 miles away, you could still pick out that it was me in the mobile and you can understand every word I said. Uh, I'll throw that in there now. It's kind of hard because again it's just like the last clip from the quarter wave antenna. It's a little on the quiet side but I'm gonna play it for you anyway. And then we're gonna talk about skip and uh, the differences between these antennas on skip. Alright let's first hear the last communication I had from the car uh, back to these stations. I'll uh, show you what it sounded like on the half wave antenna. Now let's talk about skip or DX. We had a day that there was a bunch of skip coming in. It was it was all over the place. It was Wisconsin, Michigan, uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio. It was all from that area, a thousand miles north. And that day, I went back and forth from my garage back to my house, and using the quarter wave in the house and the half wave out in the garage. And let me tell you, I think the quarter wave is actually doing better for skip. The half wave hears more. You'll notice when I'm going to play a couple of clips uh, showing some DX that I got using both antennas. When I'm on the half wave, you hear more voices in there. And it's harder to get communication with anybody. On the quarter wave, those weaker signals, it just like <laughs> tosses them off and it gets DX really easily. Um, I got twice as much skip using the quarter wave ground plane that day than I did with the half wave. And I forgot to mention this in the beginning, the feed point where the coax cable connects to the antenna, both antennas is 31 feet in the air. It's the same height on both of them. Uh, so height made no difference in these antennas. For some reason the quarter wave, it seems to be, I, I'm heard more when I'm on the quarter wave. I hear more when I'm on the half wave, but more people hear me when I'm on the quarter wave. Uh, let me play a couple of clips of the, some of the DX and you can you can probably hear in these these videos of the difference between the two antennas. Alright, let me give you a little bit of that. I'll give you some of the quarter wave first and then I'll show you the half wave. CQ CQ one five one South Carolina standing by. Oh, okay, one five one South Carolina. I hear you out there. They got a copy at twelve forty Wisconsin. Twelve forty Wisconsin. I got a good copy on you. Twelve forty. What's going on up there in uh, Wisconsin? You got one five one. Yeah, yeah. I'm in Wisconsin. Twelve forty 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 Wisconsin. Twel
It's kind of hard in there, 985. I heard you in there, then you were gone. Then I heard you, and then it was gone. 985, have a great weekend. You got 151, South Carolina. We'll see you, 73s. Last time, Charlie. 1241, Right back at you, 985. Happy holidays. 151, South Carolina. Standing by. CQCQ CQ, 151 South Carolina standing by One five one South Carolina standing by Oh, damn, I had about three come back to me, and I couldn't make out any of you. I heard one in a mobile, and that was about it. 151, South Carolina. I'm going to be uh, trying to pull somebody out of this mess. Copy that. Station number one in the garden. Hey, I'm waving a hand right back to you. Number one in the garden. Have yourself an awesome weekend. You got 151 in South Carolina. I'm going to say 70s or east to you. <laughs> What'd you think of that? <laughs> They're both good antennas. But I still, after doing all the comparison I've done for the past three or four weeks, uh, for, for local talk, there's no doubt. The half-wave antenna uh, blows away the quarter-wave. Uh, you can get an extra 10 miles uh, from receive, on receive. I'm sure it transmits the same way. But for skip, I know it was kind of hard to tell in those clips, but for skip, the quarter-wave, it's just it's easier to get contacts. More people seem to hear me when I'm on the quarter wave antenna than they do on the half wave. Now, I don't know the exact science of that. I don't know exactly why that's happening, but if you want an antenna that's... I can't, say, can't really say that. The half wave is probably the better antenna to go with because it's so much better for local and it's almost as good as the quarter for skip. Um, if I had a choice, if I could only have one of them, it would be the half wave. The quarter wave antenna, I find it to be really cool because it's a homemade one that I made. But the half wave, for overall performance, the half wave will be a better choice. Alright guys, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.